kidney is a sieve and a sponge at the same time. It's one of the organs in our body that has the ability to filter and also reabsorb the things we need back into our body. Our kidney is very selective in terms of what it reabsorbs into the body. The kidney senses what the body needs and then reabsorbs it from the urine and also filters out toxins, things like extra water that the body doesn't need out of the body. The kidney is responsible for electrolyte balance. When I'm talking about water balance, talking about electrolyte balance. When I talk about electrolytes, I mean things that we do not see with our eyes but our body cannot live without. Things that helps and catalyzes most of the activities in our body that we cannot go without. Things like sodium, things like chloride, things like potassium, those are all electrolytes that our heart, our other organs need, and even the generation of energy in our body needs and depends on it. And therefore, we cannot live life without those things. Therefore, the so integrity of your kidney depends on the quality of the filtration system that is the sieving part and the quality of the sponge it's the kidney's ability to reabsorb nutrients back into your body there are several conditions that interferes with the integrity of the sieve part of the kidney and the spongy part of the kidney sponge not literally but the part of the kidney that is able to absorb nutrients back into your body. Therefore, the integrity of your kidney depends on the amount of urine it filters out per minute. That is measured in milliliters. And also, the appearance of your urine, the color, how it looks when it's in a bowl or in the toilet or whatever. So, it's very important that when you pee or urinate, you pay attention to what comes out of your body. That will give you an idea whether your kidney is declining in function or is still staying in top notch. Here are five early signs to tell you that your kidney is not functioning like it should. Remember the kidney is your filtration system. The surface of the kidney is supposed to be as sharp as anything you can think of and it's so that it can do its job well. The first sign that your kidney is not functioning like it should and it should make you worried is the amount of urine that you pee out. Our kidneys are supposed to make at least 90 milliliters of urine per minute. So every minute your kidney should be able to make 90 milliliters of urine. That is averagely. It could be more but for a healthy kidney it should be making at least 90 milliliters of urine per minute. Remember, the integrity of your kidney is measured in how much urine comes out and the color of urine that comes out. That is mainly how we tell if your kidney is functioning right or not. Remember that 90 years could be 100, could be 120, but at least it should be 90 milliliters of urine every minute. If you have decreased urine output, it should tell you that your kidney is not filtering right, it's not filtering water right. Also, the color of your urine, how does it look like? Urine should be straw colored, like light yellow, like lemonade drink color. If your urine is too dark, meaning it's too brown, it's too orangey, it's green, blue, whatever kind of urine comes out of your body, it's up to you to pay attention to the toilet when you're peeing into it so that you can know how your urine looks like and be proactive in seeking care if it's necessary. If your urine is too dark, it means it's too concentrated. Urine should be light yellow, like the lemonade drink color. So the color of your urine should be very important to you. Also, are there sediments in your urine? Are there particles in your urine? Urine should not have any particles in it. So if you urinate and it has particles, you should know there's something going on with your kidney. And also, is your urine foaming? Urine should not be like pouring of beer. It shouldn't have foam on the top. If you urinate and there's too much foam on top of your urine, you should know your kidney is needing help. It may be crying for help. The earlier you pay attention to what comes out of your body, the better for you because it will save you from a lot of kidney damage. Being proactive is necessary. Number two would be electrolyte balance. How are your magnesium, your potassium, your sodium balance in your body? When you did your lab work, 
Did they say your sodium was too high? Was it low? Is your feet swelling up? When you have too much sodium seeping out of your blood into your tissues, it causes swelling. Remember, wherever salt is, it attracts water, right? It draws water. So if you sit for a little bit and your feet swells or your ankles, usually the swelling is around your joints first. That's where you see them. So you see your wrist, your ankle, your knee. If they are swelling, it should tell you that there's something going on with your kidneys because your kidney is responsible for filtering out excess water that you don't need, which comes out in the form of urine and reabsorbing the water you need back into your body. In the same way it does for the electrolytes and other nutrients that we need in our body, right? So if you have water accumulating in certain parts of your body, it should worry you about electrolyte imbalances. Or if your heart is not beating like it should. Remember I told you the electrolytes are like catalysts. They help with functionality of organs and certain activities in our body. We don't see them, like you don't see sodium in your body, you don't see potassium in your body. You see your organ, if they open you and get your kidney out, you see your kidney. But you wouldn't see those electrolytes. So, but they are there. If you have adequate amount, your kidney should be functioning right because it needs them to function, right? And then number three, do you have high blood pressure? High blood pressure simply means the pressure, the blood in your arteries pumping against the walls of your arteries is so high. That is what causes high blood pressure. And the kidney naturally is endowed with sensors. When the kidney senses that blood is returning, it's supposed to secrete a hormone that relaxes the arteries. So blood flow into your kidney is smooth and easy and it doesn't cause pressure to go up. When your blood pressure is high, it should tell you that that hormone may not be secreting enough or it's not secreted at all. Therefore, the blood flowing through your arteries is pushing against harder walls and causing your pressure to go up. Right. So number three is high blood pressure. That should tell you that your kidney is not functioning right and it's not helping you in terms of relaxing your arteries. Right. And then number four is fatigue. Do you get tired easily? You see, red blood cells are what carries oxygen to circulate throughout our body. Oxygen sits on red blood cells and it goes everywhere in our body to provide us with oxygen that carries out energy, metabolism, things that our body needs for us to carry out activities smoothly. When you are chronically fatigued or when you get tired easily, it should tell you there's something wrong with your body. In the sense that the kidney, when it senses low blood volume, it interprets it as either the water in the blood is slow, therefore it reabsorbs more water from urine to increase the blood volume. The second way it increases blood volume is also producing a hormone that causes production of more red blood cells. Because when your blood level drops, it's either you don't have enough fluid in the blood to make the blood volume go up, or you don't have enough cells to make the volume go up, right? So the kidney mainly sees it as one of those things. So if it's reabsorbing water, it does that. And if it senses that it doesn't have enough red blood cells, it causes the creation of this cascade of events where red blood cells are produced in your body to increase your um, the volume of the urine. So, blood entering your body, especially your kidney, is not just entering it. The kidney senses, senses so many things. The senses in the kidney is very important in balancing those things for us. Therefore, when you are chronically fatigued, you get tired easily, it should be that your kidney is not sensing that the volume of blood entering is low and therefore it should secrete that erythropoietin which is the precursor for red blood cell formation to increase the amount of red blood cells that goes on in your body. Because remember, oxygen sits on top of the red blood cells. So if you don't have enough red blood cells in your body, it means you have less oxygen being carried out of your body. It may not be enough. Therefore, you can be tired and weak because you're not having enough oxygen to circulate around, right? And then number five is seeing protein in your urine. Whether you put a urine strip in your urine and you bring it out, you read and it says protein or the lab tells you that, hey, you have protein in your urine or your doctor tells you that protein in the urine is not normal because protein has a high molecular volume, right? Protein is big. So the sieve of the kidney 
is not designed to allow protein to filter through. When you see protein in your urine, it means the sieve, the net part of your urine, that filters urine, has the holes are enlarged enough to allow bigger objects to pass through. And protein in your urine makes your urine foamy. So that's another way. When you pee and you look at your urine and it has foam on top, like pouring beer in a glass, it should tell you that maybe you have a lot of protein in your urine. Because protein in the urine is not normal. It means that the net that is supposed to filter the urine is damaging and allowing big, big things to pass through. So these are five early signs of, you know, indicating that your kidney is dysfunctional or is about to dysfunction and be proactive about it. So it's over to you. If you didn't hear anything about all that I've said or elaborated on, just pay attention to the five things. That is whether your color, the volume of your urine is not adequate. Or number two, your electrolytes are not balanced because you have swollen around your joints. Or number three, you have high blood pressure. Number four, you are fatigued. And number five, you have protein in your urine because your urine is so foamy on the top. At least keep those five points with you, even if you didn't pay attention to all the lengthy elaborations I gave you. Thanks for watching.